like a thrombus. What's it? What is a thrombus in plain English? It, it's where you develop a little blood clot a within clot. the varicose vein. Now, which, can a patient feel that? Will it get hard? Will it go from soft to hard? Actually, yes. Um, and that's called superficial thrombophlebitis when the blood clots occur in the superficial venous system. Okay. Now, that's to be distinguished from a blood clot that occurs in the deep venous system, uh, like the femoral vein or the popliteal vein or right. one of the tibial veins. These are the veins kind of behind the knee, deep, deep, that you can't necessarily feel. Yes, that okay. is correct. And in fact, the deep venous system carries 90% of the blood from your tissues of the lower limbs back up to your heart. So they're extremely important, and when you develop a blood clot in a deep vein, it's usually associated with swelling of the leg, unilateral swelling. So on one fact, side. On one side. Sometimes pain, that's plus minus, not always, uh, but swelling is kind of the hallmark. And a venous ultrasound or a venous duplex examination is the test that we use to diagnose that. The reason it's so important to diagnose that and to treat that is because deep venous thrombosis, or DVT as it's known, okay. can embolize or move. And these, uh, these the, kill a lot of people. The blood clot can break off and go to the heart of the lung. And, and, it, and it really is something that's, that's uh, an urgent type situation that really needs to be treated. Gotcha. So yes. So, but the superficial thrombophlebitis is where you have the same situation, but it's in a superficial vein. For all practical purposes, they don't break off. They don't go anywhere. Now, can they? Yes, anything is possible. They can. So it's more of a, a cosmetic issue. So let's say a woman in this case has these, these veins developing, usually on the inside of the knee and the inside of the thigh. As long as they're not hurting and they're soft, and you can live with it, you don't have to do anything, is, is what you're telling me. That's correct. You don't have to do anything. Um, after, after you're finished having children, and again, we're talking about someone who has not had any complications, then uh, certainly um, a vascular specialist, a vein specialist is a person who you would want to see. Uh, and, and they're probably going to want to do an ultrasound to see the extent of your venous abnormalities. And then based upon that, uh, discuss treatment options. With now, is you. this something you treat? Sure. Absolutely. Sure. So, we do a lot.